It's actually time for Sherilyn Bands. Ah, Juggies. Sherilyn Bands here. I'm not happy. I am not happy. Last week, this fucking leafy bastard, he's done a YouTube what was taken my film clip, moist, and then he's gone and he's said all this horrible stuff over the top of it. I wasn't even going to react, I tell you, he said, the more you react to people, the more they'll just fucking do it. He obviously feeds off it. So anyway, back to this leafy bastard, I wasn't going to do anything. But now, it's starting to ruin my life. It's, I've had enough. That's it. End of story, leafy. Get your fucking followers and tell them to fuck off. I don't deserve what's going on now. I didn't know you from a block of soap two weeks ago. And now, I'm too scared to fucking open my Twitch site. Your little supporters. It's not on. So anyway... Here's a few snippets of some of the nasty, horrible things what he said about me. I mean, she looks like a mix between a math teacher, one of those ladies that go to Walmart and rent out one of those fucking mobility scooters, and of course a mythological monster that is notorious for luring children out into the woods and eating their fucking dicks. Well, what do you know? I fucking knew it, dude. Jesus Christ. Also, call me crazy, but I would bet five Monopoly dollars that that's her son. I bet his fucking parents are absolutely proud. Actually, I bet his parents have fuck all to do with his life, and that's why he's a little fucking arsehole. That's probably more accurate. <laughs> you watch. He'll be one of these American serial killers who go into a shopping centre with a fucking sawn off shotgun blowing random people away. That's who these people turn out to be. Trust me. And they only do it because they're fucking jealous of people what's infinitely more talented than they are. Like this leafy bastard. He's only doing it to f talented, attractive YouTubers. He's done it to Nicole Arbor. You know her? Gorgeous Barbie doll looking thing. He's done it to fucking Trish Paytas. She's like the chubby Barbie doll. He's done it to um the young boy. You know, the really sexy, gorgeous one. Yeah. He does all the songs and the stupid faces. His name, Jacob Saint Suntorius, something like that. He does it to him as well. And it's because he's jealous in not even a twentieth of the, the talent that we are. There's one thing I cannot stand, and it's bullying, cyberbullying, and being a keyboard warrior. Even though I can't stand people like that, I've got a thick skin, and it usually doesn't bother me because I do not play the victim. But now, I'm not afraid to say that I am a fucking victim because now I've got people on the street hissing at me. You know, hissing at me like a reptile snake raptor from Jurassic Park. They're hissing at me. It started to rattle me, but I just think if you want to run around the streets doing fucking noises, that's on you. Because I think you're a fuckwit. But... Just earlier today, stinking hot fucking day, I was walking back to, from the shops because the bus came early. It's been coming earlier and earlier, but it came and I missed the bus, so I thought, fuck it, I'll just walk. Well, big mistake because this car slowly pulls up beside me. You know, there was a bunch of boys in there and there was a girl as well. All together, like, they cleaned it like fucking morons. They start going, we support Luffy, we support Luffy. And then the girl, she half gets out of the car window, hanging out like a fucking idiot. She says, you like being moist? I said, sorry? She says, you film clip moist. You like being moist, don't you? And I said, yeah, I love being moist. And she goes, you want a gorgeous drink? You know, like I said in um, my moist song, really thirsty and I want a gorgeous drink. And then she goes like this and she's got a fucking large McDonald's Coke. And she fucking throws the lot on me. It's gone down in me. I'm about 15 minutes from home. Stinking up fucking day. And I've got sticky coke driving to me. And they just skid up the road and fucking laughing their ass off. If that was my daughter and Desiree went out and did that, I'd fucking smack her in the mouth. 
and now because he's got all these followers, I, I, because he's done this YouTube all about me, all these fuckwits what support him, shitstones, that's what they are, he's, he's the big mother shitstone. And then all his supporters, they go and put their shit stones, spread them everywhere else, all on the comment section on my YouTube. He ends up if Luffy fucking brought you here. Big fucking deal. And all the other, all the comments, I'll read some of them. They're fucking ridiculous. Hiss, hiss. Elijah Johnson read, did someone take a shit in her mouth? Then you're picking on fucking Johnny in it as well. The poor guy she's fucking looks like Jesse Pinkman. What the fuck? Why is the dude going along with it though? He's too good for this shit. Johnny fucking wanted to do it. Leafy said in his YouTube that Johnny's probably my son. He's not my son. He's like my son in many ways. During the film clip we actually had a lot of chemistry. So Lynx Willows read, That guy's nipple should not be hard after her. He must have incest issues. Look mate, one, he's not my son. Two, even if it was your mother sitting in your lap, both doing what we were doing in Moist, even if it was your mother, things would get hard, not just your nipples. So, zip it. Sorry, that's better. <laughs> Moist your toothbrush. Put some toothpaste and clean those nasty teeth. You know, this girl, what's called Olivia Zoto, with a picture with her fucking poxy little flower crown. Fuck with. She read, that man at the end though, he looks so dead inside, lies. And I think that woman's paying him to do it. Well, Olivia, go and fuck yourself. Who's saying, Safuli, Rick, she's the most ugliest person on earth. Sophia Milan, Rick, I think she deserves an award. First person to make cancer music. That's not funny. King of chicken forever, if she kisses me, I will kill myself. We'll fucking pack her up, bitch. Just for you, big pussy kiss. Leonardo DiCaprio's first Oscar, Rick. This Aussie shit stain has literally ruined my life with her keg-like belly. I'm actually losing weight, so... Rah, 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 thousands of them, but there were some nice ones as well. Brendan Haskup, Rick. Um, she looks like the babysitter from Cat in the Hat, so thanks for that. Um, such frog writ. I fat to this every day, so. Um, Nick Wild writ. Got to admit though, the boot is fire. Just the singing and the talent ruin it. Some of that one was nice. Joshua writ. I've got to admit, the music ain't that bad. This probably could have been a hit if some brain dead chick was the singer. All these leafy sent me here comments are getting pretty late. Yes, they fucking are. But that's what happens when your entire subscriber list is made up of a bunch of fucking 12 year olds. That's the thing about having an audience full of little children. They'll fucking like anything you do and then you can just ride the fucking wave of success. Fucking millions of dollars to make all your dreams come true. They'll give you fucking endorsement deals. They'll give you a fucking Netflix series. As long as you've got a million 12 year olds. So anyway, something's got to be done. Luffy. Your wickedness, my goddess can see. And now it's time for you to pay times three. Leafy, your wickedness, my goddess can see. And now it's time for you to pay times three. Leafy, your wickedness, my goddess can see. And now it's time for you to pay times three. Please feel free to do that hex as well. Do it on Facebook Live. Get as many people to do it because I need as many people on my side if I'm going to defeat this ridiculous fucking shit stain army of Luffy supporters. So basically all I want to say is Luffy, you can suck my ass. And if you are a Luffy supporter, get away from me because I don't want to know you. And to the scumbag bitch who would douse me and coke in the fucking street. You're an Aussie girl. You should know better to support your own instead of little fuckwit MySpace soon keyboard warriors with no fucking chin. That's just my two cents. But let's leave it at that.
you can actually add my Twix art at Sherilyn Barnes. Hashtag Luffy is a no chin pin dick skid mark little bitch. And then you can actually add my Facebook side as well. www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes are you for Australia. And make sure you actually add my Instagram site too at Sherilyn Barnes. And then add my Snapchat site, Shez Barnes. Make sure you go and click subscribe so you can see all the YouTubes that I've done before and all the ones that will come out in the future days as well. I've got no fucking pussies. Pussy kiss. And um, ciao for now. Oh.